In this tutorial, you will learn how to install and configure the Zama ticketing system on a Linux Ubuntu server in just a few simple steps. So Zama is basically a free and open source solution that is built and designed for customer support teams. So let's take a look at an overview of the steps covered in this tutorial. So first, I'm going to show you how to install Java. Second, I'll show you how to install Apache and needed dependencies. I'll then show you how to install Elasticsearch. Then I'll show you how to download and install Zamad. And finally, I'll show you how to configure Apache and complete the Zamad post installation wizard. So let's get started. Right, I've already opened an SSH connection to the server. And the first thing that I'm going to do is to set a custom hostname. So run the command hostname ctl set hostname web hosting. Then we also need to edit the host configuration file and also add an entry for that custom hostname. So once that's been done, you then need to run the command apt update to update the system repository. And then finally, I'm then going to restart the system so that all of these changes will actually take effect. So once the restart completes, I'm then going to go forward to install uh, Java. So uh, let me just switch back to root. And the command to install Java is actually uh, apt get install open JDK 11 JDK and then you specify the Y switch at the end. So once the installation is done, I'm just going to run the Java version command to verify the version of Java that we've actually just installed. So that's Java version and you should see open JDK 11. So next, I'm then going to install the Apache web server by issuing that command. So the installation shouldn't take too long, should be just about two minutes or so, depending on your connect internet connection. So once that's been done, I'm then going to install the libssl 1.1 package. And then once that's done, we're also going to install the HTTP transports uh, package. So just uh, run the command apt get install apt transports um, and then that's HTTPS at the end. So once we have that installed, the final dependency that needs to be installed is the gnupg package. So you just run the command apt get install gnupg. So we now have the dependencies uh, taken care of and I'm just going to add the elastic search key and I'll also add an entry to the uh, system repository, to the sources.list uh, directory actually for Elasticsearch. And then I'll just issue the apt update command to update the system repository. So I can now install El Elasticsearch. So simply run the command apt get install Elasticsearch. And uh, there you have it. We now have Elasticsearch installed. And the final step is to start and enable the Elasticsearch system service. So run the command system ctl start and enable Elasticsearch. So once that's been taken care of, the next step is to actually uh, allow Elasticsearch to index file attachments. So I'm just going to have that done now. And then I'll then restart the Elasticsearch system service. And then uh, finally, I'm then going to um, download the GPG key for Zamad, and then I'll add the Zamad repository. So uh, once that's been done, I'll then issue the apt update command. And then after that, we should be able to actually install the uh, Zamad package. So just run the command apt get install Zamad. So uh, once we have Zamat installed, uh, we then need to configure Zamat to work with Elasticsearch. So uh, there's just a couple of commands that need to be run, and I'll actually include these commands in the in a link in the video description. So you can just check for that link to get the commands. So finally, I'm then going to make a config change to the um, virtual host configuration file for Zamad. Particularly, I'm just going to set the uh, IP address for the server. And then there's also a directive that needs to be disabled here, which is the request header directive. So I'm just going to comment that out. Uh, 
then press Ctrl plus O, press Enter, and then press Ctrl plus X to exit the file. Then finally, I'm then going to instruct the Apache to restart, and we should be able to access the system now. So just type in the IP address of the Zamat server in a new browser window, and you should see a button that says uh, set up a new system. So I'm going to type in my first name, last name, email address and password for the Zamat system. So if you see yourself reaching this point, then you have successfully installed the Zamat system on your uh, Ubuntu web uh, uh, server. So I'm just going to quickly type in a password and then you also need to confirm the password on the password confirm field and then click on the uh, create uh, button. So that should then create the administrator account for the system. I'm just going to type in my organization name and then click on next. And then finally, I'll just skip the email notification setup uh, part. That can always be done from the dashboard at a later point in time. So there you have it. Uh, we've successfully uh, installed the Zyma ticketing system on a Linux Ubuntu server. So from here, you can then start using the system for uh, your ticketing and customer support needs. So that's been it, guys. Uh, uh, that's a quick look at how you can install Zamad on a Linux Ubuntu server. Please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And please also share the video with your peers, colleagues, and friends. I hope the tutorial has been informative, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.